Okay, this one's a little bit heavier. I don't have who this was from, but this says during these times and really in general, what are some tips that you're willing to share that has helped you keep your mental health in check? I've been struggling with this a lot and would love your advice. This mm. one's tough because I know everybody's been going through it this entire year, but how do yeah. you keep your mental health up? I think for me personally, and I know this is like kind of dependent on how social of a person you are. Mm -hmm. um, I am very into like leaning into my like, closest friendships and relationships and um, kind of using that as an outlet to kind of vent and I don't know, receive good feedback on maybe like an outsider's perspective on, you know, what I'm going through. Um, also just things like doing what makes you happy, you know, staying physically active and like mm -hmm. taking time to invest in yourself. You know, I, I've talked about it now three times, but like something as simple as shuffling, I was like, this is something that I always wanted to do. It's a goal of mine. Like it makes me feel better that I accomplished a goal. It's like mm -hmm. physical activity, but just taking the time to like, you know, give yourself some grace because you're not going to have perfect moments. Um, right. You're going to have down, down moments. You're going to have highs and lows. Um, but at the same time, like trying to just stay positive and turn this like extra time into ways to like improve yourself and improve your relationships and well, improve your relationships with your friends and family. <laughs> right. Right. No, I a hundred percent agree with you. I think, I think I like what you said about just like finding things that make you happy and shuffling, I think could definitely be something, especially in this community for people to get oh, into, yeah. but it's, I it's, love it. It's tricky. I think it's a combination of like finding things that kind of can relax you if you have like anxiety or things like that. Cause definitely mm -hmm. I would say, I know it's like meditating. I never thought that was a thing, but I meditate yeah. every morning now and I just put on like a peaceful meditation playlist on Spotify and I like pull tarot cards now, but it's just my time in the morning where I just like really clear my head. I get set my intentions for the day. I like check in with myself and I really like think about the things that were stressing me out the night before. And I'm like, those are all dumb. Like let's, it's a new day. So I think right. finding things that can maybe relax you and kind of take you out of like your hectic schedule and things like that. Yeah. Um, watch ASMR videos, like whatever it is that will yeah. kind of like <laughs> chill you out a little bit, I think is helpful. And then yeah, getting into new hobbies because Sometimes just trying something new or like finding a new passion can kind of like reignite a spark in you. Yeah. And that can just be like a fun new thing to get into. And that's like what tarot cards did for me. I started doing those in April and like I'm completely obsessed and it's such, I nerd out over it now. But I, I love it. <laughs> it's just so fun. I never thought I'd be into it. And so like that, literally that like 15 to 20 minutes in the morning where I do my meditation and pull my cards is like one of my favorite things to wake up to. So I think finding things you're passionate about, like little moments in the day and like finding ways to cope with your anxiety and yeah. just having those like that downtime is definitely big or shuffle or dance. Moving your body definitely helps. I think. Yes, for sure. Yep. 